Hey everybody, I'm Jim, and uh, Rich has some family stuff this week, so I'm gonna play a solo game. It's like, what have I got in my library that I haven't, that I've never played, that I really want to? And uh, to the moon. So this came out oh years ago. Was it 2011, 2013ish? And uh, all I know is that it's kind of about time travel. And it's in 4x3, and I've sort of spent the last five minutes just sort of being fine with that. Alright. It seems really chill, and I kind of dig it. It's not even a town, it's like a villa? I, I would use the term villa. Don't mind me, I'm just making sure I got all my settings right from the stream this week. Oh dear. Oh, we swerved to avoid the thing. Squirrel. <laughs> you ran over it. I sh yeah, I should. I should. I should do the voices for this. What am I doing? If I'm not doing that, what am I doing? You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car, alright? Dr. Watts seems like a like a sort of heavier bro dude. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm. Well, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. Yeah, squirrels are like puppies. It's not that big a deal. Jesus. Jesus, Dr. Watts. He likes puppies, right? Yeah. Well, whatever. He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Also, other Avril Lavigne lyrics really apply to my life now that I think about it. You know, it's... Fine, whatever. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Except for the fact where I wrecked the car. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Alright, so let's interact with the squirrel. Or we receive equipment. Gotha sucker. Let's roll. Ah. Technician specialist Sigmund Corp. And senior memory transversal agent. Good job. I have a box. Yes. Excellent. Go look at the squirrel. Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's. I was asking too much. Listen, it's. it's no, no, we can't do that. How do we move? We use the arrow keys to move. There's no options, so there's no controls. Hey, don't forget the car. <laughs> All thoughtful of you. Bird, burb, burb. Oh. That important burb. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's a security system. Cucumbers. 
I don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with, uh... Wait. Wait. What? Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. We're gonna push it by hand. It's just gonna dignify with their spots. On three. One, two, three. I'm glad that Rosalind's also not sure what happened because I am super not sure what just happened. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh, we need to get going for now. We'll, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Giant. I, I don't think they're giant stone pillars. I think they're designed. They're supposed to be trees that just terminate into into like the sky. All right. Well, there's an obvious door. Let's go through that. Ma, they're here! Ma! Ma, they're here! Not a bad, 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 not a bad place to retire at, huh? I don't know, I could do better. I mean, it's not that cool. It's kind of big. But, whatever. Like, you know, night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. Also, other birds. Birds are dumb. It's probably going to be another all nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. What? What's your deal, dude? Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... <laughs> Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. For annoying the crap out of your co-workers. <laughs> Act 1. I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. So this is basically Bioshock Infinite, is what we're learning from, from that title. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, I, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Uh, oh no, I'm just a caretaker. Caretaker. Caretaker's just... And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Caretaker's just are people who rip cakes in half with their bare hands, like you would a phone book. And by you, I mean you and not me, because I totally can't do that. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I, I, I don't think we're the ones you want. N no, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Implying that we are not medical doctors. <laughs> 
<laughs> Come with me. Come on, grab the case, let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance company. Alright, so let's grab the case. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Go upstairs. No. What are my other options here? I've got a sweet dining room. patient is waiting upstairs. We better not waste time. I understand, game. Thank you. Thank you for signposting that. There's nothing useful for you in these rooms. But we will presumably come back into space. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. I did not realize I was the kids. There we are. No fair, you push me. I did not. Whatever. You get the boring two notes anyway. I think the arrows are still on the floor. They didn't remove this bright layer for like the this sort of more cinematic shot. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, but it's small. Dude. Yeah, yeah, come on. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I'd hurry. Ready to set up? Yes, yes we are. Yes, it'll just be a moment. That's... that's a whole thing. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. That's, just, that's a weird place to emphasize that. Yeah, the. We're the experts on this. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just, uh, just to uh, keep you down your toes. Indeed, rural power grids are uh, not what you wish they would be. Okay, that looks totally sweet. How's he doing? Not so well. If, if I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. I like how somber this is. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we all succeed, because we're awesome. So... What's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. Wants to go to the moon. These geezers just keep getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. Uh, she meant to say yes. 
why don't you tell us about our client here, and also stop telling me what I meant to say. I... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man, though through the two years that I've worked here he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Just, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm. So be it. We're gonna check out those weirdly pixelated books in the corner. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Dr. Rosalind. We're all in on Dr. Rosalind. Oh, uh, thanks for the offer, but I'm busy with leaving a butt burned on this chair. Right. Do continue, by the way. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Okay, but we're gonna go look at those books. Because these books look hella suspicious. A selection of readings from medical journals. Nope. Ooh. Then you turn the lights on. Paintings are generic? I don't know why you'd have generic paintings as a rich person. That just seems weird. I guess you're just like... Like, it's... I don't know, like, paintings are sufficiently expensive that... Oh, there we are. Here are the paintings that actually have significance. A casual painting of three people. A painting of an animal of some sort. What does that mean? <laughs> A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Alright, let's go downstairs and talk to the kids. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, yeah, take this. Oh, I was like, Master Sword. Received Remote Patient Monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's Heart Monitor is now activated in the menu. Ah, look at that. It seems all right. Oh, listen to that menu noise. I dig it. All right, so we we should talk to the kids. What you want? Uh, show me around the house, please. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe... Maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh... No. What, 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 what do you want? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, for that. What? There's like this giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. 
It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there, save for when we do chores, which we basically never do. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. Okay. Um. No. No. Dr. Rosalind, 100% business. No. We're short on time now, but if you just show me around, then Dr. Watts will pay for however many candy canes you want later. Really? Like, even if I ask for 10? Or 12? No more than 5. They're bad calories. It's still better than 1. Okay, deal in. Oh my god, I was just spared a fetch quest. Alright, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. I don't know why Tommy has such a deep voice. You're gonna need to get the keys, though. Your man hid it inside a book in the study. Books are lame. Books are not lame. Don't believe anyone who tells you that. Who tells you that. All right. This is the book room. Uh, the key to the funny room is in the <laughs> the thickest book on the upper shelf. Can't reach it. Alright, so let's turn the lights on. Oh. oh, we have a painting easel. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Oh, it's a Twilight guy. Yes, I understand now. Read passage. 100% yes. Uh, maybe another year. Receive room key. <laughs> the more I reflect on that, the funnier it is. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. One day I threw him back and he needed a band-aid. There's a bunch of books in here. I know everything. Thanks, Tommy. Open the room in the basement now, which is exactly what we're going to do because I'm super curious. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. There we go. So I assume that this is the the weird room, but let's take a look around first. There is oh. The chest is locked. No. Couldn't be. That's also locked. Who locks their things in their house? Oh listen, I'm a PC. This is Johnny's bondage room. Uh, what? Backs out of room slowly. A broken music box. A stuffed platypus. I will poke it. No, I will take it. Um, I can't move any further into the room on account of... Whatever the f*** is going on here.
Do you see it? No, oh, wrong voice. What do you two know about all those rabbits? Uh, nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so he never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath the cliff. Wanna go see? I have the keys. You aren't supposed to go there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. Who the f is Neil? So you wanna go see the lighthouse? Uh, it's cold outside, but... Let's stick to the job. If Johnny's the one who put the rabbits there, I'll probably run into it inside his memories anyway. Let's go upstairs and see if Neil's done with configuring machine. Oh, Neil wants. All right. God. That was... And this is when we find out that Johnny's some kind of terrifying serial killer. Why don't you be late by another half an hour? It's not like we have a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm late one time. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. You crashed the car. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Oh. I'm like, where's the couch? It's right here. So. I'm going to uh, hold off on initiating until Thursday. And uh, we'll see you then. For more to the moon.